All right, hello everyone. I'm gonna share this word I just received. Um, a little update on my health, just doing better and better every day, starting to work out, and uh, you know, praise praise the Lord, just getting better. So uh, it's pretty exciting. Pretty warm day out here, but it's a little sunny, so I'm gonna keep my sunglasses on. Um, anyway, all right, so this is the word I received. For it is not possible to, de to deceive the very elect, for they who abide in me are led by the Spirit of truth who dwelleth in them. For these, as wise virgins, have forsaken worldly ways, and so seek to sin not, not relying on their good works to save them, but in bearing the fruit of the Spirit and the works of the Father, are the righteous children of the living God, searching for truth, led in spirit and seeking discernment of the Lord, and their Lord so giveth liberally. These are not religious, nor bound in tradition of man, but in all things given unto thanks and honor to their Lord. For again I say, these shall be raised unto the God in which they serve. For they do not seek wisdom in man, but know this as foolishness. But the word abideth in them, and he who is the way, the truth, and the life leadeth them unto life eternal through sanctification of the Spirit who abideth in them. For he who came in the flesh doth not lead astray, but guideth in all things. For these my children pray in all things, and so it is written, these pray that they be counted worthy to escape that which is coming. And so, as it is written, shall meet their Lord in the air, and so shall forever be with their Lord. Is this not written? <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's being filled with the Holy Spirit. And uh, I've said before, it just amazes me, those who proclaim to be Christians, even known and have big followings and churches and they're not preaching the truth. And, you know, I try not to say a lot of my own words. I just, you know, stand on the truth and put out scripture. And uh, there have been people that have said that I've preached a false gospel. And I'm like, well, you know, again, once we believe in the Lord and we're indwelt with His Spirit, a change happens and it's evident. And again, we bear fruit. We do the works that have been ordained before time. We're not saved by works or not kept by works, but they definitely know us by our fruit. And uh, I don't know what to tell people, but, you know, I read a King James Bible. That's the one I advocate for. That's the one I believe the Lord led me to read. Um, a lot of, you know, Bible virgins or versions vary greatly. And, uh, you know, most importantly, you know, we seek the Lord for discernment and we're led in the spirit of truth and his word is the truth, but I'll tell you this, a lot of these Bible versions that differ so greatly, they're not of the Lord. All right, everyone, God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.